and I know I am gonna hurt why all's feelings. But yes, big three privilege does exist. And it's very real. It's one of the reason why there are some untalented idols get to shine more than others. Hi hello everyone. Hope y'all are doing well. Today we will be discussing about the dreaded, big three privilege. So hope y'all are excited. Before we get into the video, make sure to read the disclaimer in the description box and do subscribe. So let's get into it. First of all, what is the big three privilege? Basically it's a special kind of immunity or advantage, given to idols or groups, debuting under the popular big three or four companies. They are, HYBE, SM, Y, G and J, Y, P. So now let's see both arguments. First for this argument. People say that if you debut under any of these companies, then you'll get instant success due to this privilege, regardless of whether you have talents or not. These are the things that come when you debut under a big company. 1. Instant success slash clout. When you debut under a big company, the company stands and other stands standing groups from that company, all become your fans. Let's take Nmixx for example. Nmixx had hype around them from when they were trainees, because they come from Jib, the company that holds Twice and Wonder Girls. So people were excited and wanted to see what Nmixx is all about. This is instant clout. Most Nugu groups don't get these. Second one is better training. Basically since these companies have a lot of money and connection, they will be able to provide their trainees with the best trained professionals. From vocal lessons to selfie lessons, everything is handled by these professionals. While most Nugu groups have mediocre training. Next up is better management. This one again is kind of like the trainee thing, since these companies are well with money, they are able to appoint professionals to mange scandals, and have professional public management while companies like Cube straight out kick their idols, all cause they don't know how to manage. Next one is higher budget, when you debut under a huge company, the quality of everything will be better, from outfits to music to MV set, everything will be handled by professionals and be better in quality, and again there are also pints against this argument saying that big three privilege doesn't exist. First point is that, it's very hard to get into those companies. Since these companies are very popular and successful, they want the utmost performance, so it's very hard to crack into these companies. Basically stating that you worked hard for it. Remember how I told you that privilege is an immunity or an additional thing offered to you? Well if you work hard for it, then it isn't considered privilege. Second, you have to work a lot. In general, K-pop is a tiring industry, but these big three companies squeeze even more work from you. Take Twice for example, they have to have a comeback at least five times a year, excluding their Japanese ones. Like what? These big three companies always want the best so they always work their idols to the bone. Again, saying that the privilege isn't real cause they are working for it. If you debut under big three company, your expectations are high, and you will always be compared to your seniors. Third. The treatment is trash. Although these companies are big three, and although they have trained professionals managers, they still fail to treat treat idols better. Since these companies only look for money, they fail to look at idols as humans, and more so look at them as a way to earn money. Due to this, a lot of idols mental health is being taken for granted. Last one is that there is no creative freedom. Let's take Blackpink for example, they are pioneers in this industry, yet why? G doesn't allow any of them to produce even a single song. When Jenny write a song, their company just straight up said no, without even considering her song. This is something that most big K-pop companies do. Again, since they are so money-minded, anything and everything that might cause a slight drop in their stacks is a big no. So, even though your song might be good, these companies reject that so they can get money. Now these are the arguments people have against the statement saying that big three privilege doesn't exist. Now, what do I think? In my opinion, big three privilege is 100% real. Big three privilege does exist. Let's take views for this argument. Almost all the popular debuts in terms of views are there because they are from big three, ESPA, ITZY, TXT, everyone. Most popular groups today are from the big three. I am not discrediting these groups for their hard work and talents. I am just saying that they also have this privilege while most Nugu groups don't. 
There is no higher competition for these idols because they are the competition themselves. They become the competition to Nugu idols. And it isn't that hard to get into these big three companies. Because if it is, then why are there so many untalented idols walking around there? Big three privilege does exist, to a certain level. This privilege is like an advertisement to these groups. People will know these groups. But it all comes down to your talents and hard work to carry that popularity. Privilege can also go both ways. It can also be bad, as privilege is kind of like a megaphone. Take Jenny for example, because she was so popular, she was hated so much. So, in the end, privilege does exist or only to a certain level. Anyways guys that's it for today's video. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye.